We do begin tonight with more snow on the way, which of course means that the plows will hit the road. They'll be hard at work for us all. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langbeck. And I'm Eric Montek. With more plows on the road, it's important to drive safely around them. News 9's Wyatt Williams joins us with some tips on just how to do that. Yeah, guys, once the flakes start to fly here in central Wisconsin, the plows hit the roads. And just make sure you're giving them plenty of space to do so and yourself plenty of extra time wherever you're going. Just make sure you make sure you think someone this winter that is a snow plow driver. After all, they are the reason you get to leave for your house during the winter. Drivers plow over 100,000 miles of snowy, dangerous roads every year, and it takes a large truck with an even larger blade to accomplish that. So they'll need all the space they can get. You're going to want to slow down and give them a lot of room, extra room, so that you're not going to be whited out by their the snow coming up and over their their blades or their plows. And then um, you're going to need to leave if you're on say on the interstate. You're going to need to leave 200 feet of distance between you and the plow so you can safely stop. If, if necessary or if, if, you know, if the plow slows down. Over the years, Wisconsin has seen many snowplow accidents. Take your time and make good decisions around these large machines. And remember, it is not a good idea to drive in any bad weather conditions, but if you absolutely have to, make sure to check 511wi.gov to find the latest road conditions in your area. In Wausau, Wyatt Williams, News 9, WOW.